Welcome, friends of Japanese prints. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dieter, and I am the owner and manager of the Artelino Company, and we sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions, and we make these lovely videos. The subject of today's video is a bit eerie. It's about ghosts. Ghosts. Do you believe in ghosts? Well, I don't. I could care less. But the Japanese people, they love ghost stories. And therefore, um, it's not unusual that you find a lot of ghost subjects on Japanese prints and sometimes even complete series. Yeah. And today I want to present you one print that we have in the current auction, um, even from a complete series just about ghosts by a famous artist by Yoshitoshi. But first, let me show this print. Well, I take gloves, well, because, well, these are very valuable and also not quite cheap prints. So you see it, so that you get an impression for the size. So now I can take the gloves off. Looks a little bit stupid. Well, Yoshitoshi, uh, a somewhat strange guy, but the leading and most famous artist of the so-called Meiji period. The Japanese Meiji period uh, started in 1868 and was characterized uh, by great reforms after the pattern of Western countries, uh, Europe, uh, United States. And uh, Yoshitoshi came into this period when Japan transformed itself from a medieval country to a modern Western state. Yoshitoshi was born in 1839 and died in 1892. And he believed in ghosts and supernatural apparitions like many Japanese people until our days actually. And Yoshitoshi even was sure that he had encountered a ghost towards the end of his life. Yoshitoshi during several phases of his life, he suffered from mental illness and from depression and it got worse towards um, the, the end of his life. When he was uh, still a young man, 26 years old, he had an ambitious um, project in mind. Well, he had planned to make a series of 100 ghost stories, but um, these prints um, were not welcomed very well in a commercial sense by the market. So um, this project was dropped by him after 26 designs. And then later, um, towards this, the end of his, his life, he finally got the reputation that he had deserved. And he also won uh, some um, commercial success. He finally got um, uh, an employment by a newspaper which gave him a stable um, income. And then he started again um, a series about ghosts, the title New Forms of 36 Ghosts. And you see, well, this time um, he reduced it to 36 um, ghosts. That was less ambitious, 36 designs plus one title page. So the complete series consists of 36 prints sheets. The series was technically rather challenging. Um, Yoshitoshi used very elaborate features like bokashi, well that's gradation or embossing or, or burnishing. Burnishing that's a, a, a black lacquer that is applied and um, they had to use 12 different blocks for each design. You must imagine for each color, um, one block. So 12 blocks for each design. And there was actually 36 um, prints plus a title page uh, multiplied by 12, by 12 blocks. That may have been too much just for a single person. But at that time, Yoshitoshi already had established an art school and he had 20 pupils. And well, these 20 students, they helped to finish the series. 
The series was published over uh, three years, from 1889 until 1892, which was the year of the death of the artist. And publisher was Sasaki Toyokishi. The series was later, after the death of Yoshitoshi, posthumously republished in 1902 by Matsuki Hei Kishi. And now let's take a, a somewhat closer look at this print. It shows a princess, princess, yeah, I assume from the Japanese mythology, Princess Sakura, and she's harassed by the ghost of an evil priest with the name of Saigen or Segen pronounced, I don't know. And this evil priest, it's difficult to recognize here, but here his silhouette is projected um, against this screen. Well, um, the best Yoshitoshi prints um, and this series and some other series, uh, these prints are not quite cheap. And therefore the reserve of this print that we offer in the current auction is US dollar 900. <coughs> the auction will end tomorrow. Tomorrow is April 4 and we are in the year 2021. If you're interested, go to www.artelino.com. I would be pleased to see you in our auctions. And if you like this video, I would be pleased to see you in our next video. Have a good week.